It is time for our weekly arts and culture segment. We have our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, in the studio. Hi, Yujin. Good evening, Jongmin. Evening. What do you have for us today? Also, Jongmin, can you believe it? We're already way into half of this year because we're heading into the end of June. And June here in South Korea has kind of become a month dedicated to honoring and remembering the patriots and war veterans who fought for Korea. And we recently observed Memorial Day on June 6th and this Sunday, which is June 24th. 5th marks the 73rd anniversary of the start of the Korean War. And if we look a bit further on July 27th, that marks the 70th anniversary of the signing of the Korean Armistice Agreement. So ahead of this date for this week, I explore the diverse ways South Korea is commemorating the Korean War and expressing gratitude to those who fought in it. June 25th, 1950, the start of the Korean War. The war divided Korea in two and claimed the lives of more than a million people. Every June, people remember and honor those who fought in the war. These days, cutting-edge technology plays a key role. This lab in the city of Suwon, just south of Seoul, is where war veterans are brought back to life using the magic of artificial intelligence. With just a few clicks and a bit of typing, old blurry photos become crystal clear, bursting with color. Professor Wu Simon and his team are working wonders with an AI model called Generative Facial Prior, recovering the images of around 400 Korean War veterans. Uh, applying AI technology, uh, uh, like latest technology, for something uh, public good and socially good purpose and acknowledging those hidden heroes uh, and uh, hidden war heroes and unknown war heroes, we can actually acknowledge them through this opportunity is actually great. And there's more. You can take a journey back in time with the help of augmented reality. The War Memorial of Korea, a museum dedicated to preserving the history of the Korean War, has introduced an AR game. With your smartphone and a complimentary guidebook from the museum, you become a Korean War soldier desperate to regain memories of the war. Solve puzzles and complete missions that walk you through the three-year-long war from its beginnings on June 1950 to the signing of the Armistice Agreement in July 1953 while exploring the museum's exhibition halls. There are also exhibitions paying homage to the war heroes. This one at the Seoul Museum of History in the city center showcases the personal belongings of war veterans along with magazines and articles documenting the war. From battle-worn uniforms and badges to heart-wrenching photographs of war refugees, it's a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made seven decades ago. From exhibitions to AR and AI, this is how Korea continues to honor and remember those who selflessly gave everything to save the lives of millions. Using artificial intelligence and augmented reality is just truly fascinating. Just, Eugene, tell us more about your experience there. Well, to first talk about the AI photo recovery project, to be really honest, before I visited the lab, I kind of questioned how is this AI software or program kind of different from Photoshop that we're already familiar of. But after visiting the lab, I realized that my thoughts were completely wrong. And what caught my attention most was the amazing speed and the high quality images uh, that this program restored. So in less than a minute, the decades old images underwent a remarkable transformation with enhanced resolution. Uh, clarity and even vibrant colors and some of them they were initially of such low and poor quality that you couldn't really see a person's face miraculously but AI miraculously restored them and to talk more about the AI game I kind of had doubts about how engaging and immersive it would be it was actually my first time playing an AR game but after playing the game as you saw in the report myself I didn't know that time flew it took me about an hour to finish all the tasks and while doing this uh, I've learned about the Korean War and its history at school, but I actually gained much more deeper understanding of the overall history of the Korean War. And this is kind of like a good news for our international viewers. This game is currently available only in Korean, but according to the War Memorial of Korea, they're planning to release an English version next month, July. So I bet a lot of our inter international viewers would be excited. Don't miss your chance. And Eugene, as you mentioned, Sunday marks the 73rd anniversary of the Korean War. And next month, we will commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Armistice Agreement. 
Are there any upcoming events we should uh, keep an eye on? Well, I'm glad you asked because there is a very exciting development in the AI photo recovery project that I mentioned in my report. So currently, this research team, they uh, are in the final stages of their recovery project. So about 300 out of 400 images have been fully recovered. And once they're completed next month, the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs will present these recovered, completed photos to the family members of the war veterans at a special commemoration ceremony that celebrates seven years of signing the Korean armistice agreement. So I think that this is a very deep, meaningful gesture that really ensures that we will not forget all the sacrifices that these war heroes have made and that this legacy will continue to live on. All right, looking forward to it. Our culture correspondent, Song Yujin, thank you. Thank you.